Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from my mums. Hi mommies. Having worms is a very common thing in the world. According to WHO statistics, 24% of population has worms and 20% of pregnant women are infested with worms. What are the signs? When do you think there is a need to see the doctor? You might see worms in your vomit or in your stool. Sometimes these worms when you're vomiting it can come through your nose or even through your mouth. It sounds yuck but sometimes it does happen. You might have a itchy anus. There could be bleeding or pus with your stool. You might have total loss of appetite. So much of fatigue that you don't want to do anything. Totally exhausted. Unexplained weight loss. You've had your fill but you're still hungry. Or sometimes you have rashes which can't be explained. Symptoms. You might have certain symptoms that you need to go to the doctor. You might have abdominal pain, little tenderness, pain here and there. You can have fever. It could be a low grade fever, but yes, fever could be there. You might have diarrhea, you might have nausea and vomiting. You might have gas and bloating. You are so full all the time. You might have cough, you might have wheeze because sometimes these uh, worms could be there even in your lungs. There could be excessive fatigue and unexplained weight loss. Causes. What are the possible causes that it is so endemic in the world? It is more commonly seen in Asia and in Africa. Contaminated water, contaminated soil. These are the two commonest reasons for having worms. Then contact with feces. In India, this is one of the commonest root. Why? It is feco oral. We are using our hands to wash and the same hands if not washed properly and we eat our food with our hands could be a cause of contamination. So it is called feco oral. And the worm's length could be as much as 35 centimeters. That's pretty big. Types of worms. There are commonly two types of worm. One is a flat worm and one is the round worm. Both are common in India. In the round worm, which is commoner, you might have pin worm, you might have hook worm, and ascaris is the commonest. And that is the one that I was saying could be really long, about 35 centimeters. And these worms are basically in your intestine. And in the intestine, they can cause internal bleeding, they can cause uh, blockage in the intestines and the same might travel to your lungs and cause wheezing. And these worms are actually taking away the nutrition and it is the commonest cause of anemia in a country. Tests. What tests you have to undergo to confirm this? Stool test is the commonest and the easiest. Sometimes even a scotch tape is given which is put on the anus and in that also we can get the eggs of these worms or maybe small little worms can also be seen on that. Blood test in which we see the antibodies. A blood test can also be done in which we will see the eosinophil counts. If the eosinophil counts are more then that is an indication that there are some parasites in the body. Worms are nothing but parasites. You can even do a total blood count. A colonoscopy can be done in that a scope is put through your anus and the rectum is visualized for any worms. Then X-ray, CT scan and then MRI can also be done if needed. Complications. There could be anemia. Because of anemia, there are so many complications. Because of anemia, you might have preterm delivery. Your baby could be anemic after birth. There could be birth asphyxia, there could be preterm delivery and all the complications associated with the preterm delivery. So a simple worm can cause havoc in the mother and in the baby. 
the mother will have different symptoms and the baby will not have any symptoms as long as it is inside because in the utero the baby is not infested with the worms whatever is happening will happen indirectly the worms do not travel from the mother to the baby through the placenta so you can be at least very safe and comfortable that as long as the baby is inside it is safe from these parasites and intestinal blockage that is a terrible thing for anybody to happen the intestines they get totally blocked by these i had seen one particular patient in which she had it was more like noodles fit into the intestine and when she was operated we have that sample in the lab now it was totally packed so lot of junk food that we have food eaten from outside when the conditions are not very hygienic so that is the place from where we can get all this treatment treatment is simple medication but you will not do any treatment on your own you must consult your doctor because you are pregnant and we cannot take any chances in pregnancy first trimester is an absolutely no no the best time if you are planning a pregnancy is to deworm yourself before you get pregnant but if you have missed it out no problem if you have any signs and symptoms from second trimester we consider it safe but by any chance if you have had it and your pregnancy was not confirmed there are no studies which confirm that it is bad for you or for your baby the common tablets that we use in the second trimester or the third trimester are albendazole and mebendazole albendazole is a 400 mg tablet which i give just one stat you have to just eat that tablet once you must chew that and chew it slowly the results are better if you chew it than just swallowing the tablet then mebendazole is the second tablet which i gave it is 100 g tablet and i give one bd that is one tablet morning evening for 3 days and these tablets are established that they are safe in pregnancy but we give only in endemic areas or if the patient is confirmed that she has worm infestation and please no self medication even though i have told the name of the salts that is just for your information and final word will be what your doctor says i'm sure this video is very interesting you must like subscribe share with your friends remember to press the bell icon button and write your comments prevention we all know prevention is better than cure remember to clip your nails big nails is the dirtiest thing that we can have it might be fashion i personally never eat chapatis made by somebody who has grown nails because i know all the infection is there when these nails are scraped and examined under the microscope i'm sorry to say we can actually see the ovas the eggs of these worms there so it is basically poop that is there so please make sure the hands are washed nicely the nails are not grown what all you have to do wash your hands right thoroughly wash the fruits that you are eating nicely wash the vegetables that you are using nicely and it must be clean water if you are using with contaminated water that could be another source of infection and meat you have to be very particular in pregnancy you cannot eat raw meat or half cooked meat things like sushi should be avoided in pregnancy so whatever non veg you are having make sure it is cooked properly in spite of taking all the precautions reinfection is very common in a non pregnant state i advise my girls to have this tablet every 3 months so that they are healthy and deworming has a very positive effect on the child survival rate if the mother is dewormed it has a very very long lasting health effect on the mother and on the baby so eat healthy and be cautious about the hygiene around you thank you and namaste